During the raining season, the farmers always count their gains because it is time for them to have multiple harvests. But for those who come on the serious attack of flooding, the time brings back sad memories. For those who have come on the serious attack of flooding, the mere sighting of stagnant water will make them shiver. The need to have, you know, all these arterial channels, all these collector dreams. Because if I take you especially to the close where I live, we have a dream that we made by ourselves. Somebody came and said he's building a retaining wall. He built a retaining wall along the, the pathway of the, of, the, of the channel and therefore obstructing the flow of water. This is the third time we are expressing trust in our compound. After the canal was over flooded, then the water will just enter from nowhere. We don't know how the water is entering our compound, but we just wake up the morning and we saw that the whole compound was flooded. Flooding has been regarded as the most devastating but man-made phenomena the world over. When flood decides to take its dance to the community, schools, industries, churches, mosques, farmlands, and even animals are not spared. No wonder there is need for a sustainable living habit of the urbanities. In fact, by the time it starts raining, there are quite a number of people that will be so sad. A number, a great number of people that will be very sad. As I'm standing, my car is not in my house. I kept my car outside my house so that I can trek to where my car is and then go out. You cannot move. When the rain is falling, you just stay indoor. You just maybe 10 minutes after you come out. Because you cannot, you cannot move. You have a canal over there. You know, there is no way this water will move. That's why we do the covert. That when water is coming, you pass through this place and go down to the valley over there. Part of community effort is what we are seeing here now. Because we constructed this uh, uh, covert. We have done four of these covert around here now. Open flooding occurs in town located on flat or low terrain, especially where little or no provision has been made for surface drainage or where existing drainage has been blocked with waste, refuse and soil sediments, amongst others. The challenge of the canal is there. The malaise is the same everywhere. Canal not being cleared on time, no adequate attention, no adequate maintenance. So, during the dry season, people come in and flood it with kind of debris. By the time the, the rain comes, the, 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 the level of the, of the canal itself, you know, has risen because of the dirt inside. And so when water comes, the, the, the canal contains as much volume anymore and the water overflows its banks. Every environmental day, we still continue our own environmental sanitation, SSS, in which our course members do go out to clear the drains clear the, all the refuse within the community to sensitize them. These are the things you, you have to pack this, you don't allow it to fall back to the, into the drainage. Because when it falls back, it causes a lot of problems. The drains will be blocked and it will overflow its channel. As the pains inflicted on Lagosian by flooding beats other, some community development associations rose up to the struggle to save their homes. Recently, Lagos Community Updates crew met with some community leaders. They told us stories of how the torrential rains almost submerged all they have ever lived for. We have water problem. During the rainy season, you see people, some will leave their house. While we can uh, endure it, we stay. People find it to do drainage due to the canal. And we, we now sit down together to look the way forward then we result on getting uh, pipes, which we have 33 pipes from that junction to the canal. Then before we have almost eight or 10 pipes here. But when we see that the, 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 water, the water level in the street is increasing, we have to change it. We change it to the rims, which now we have almost 10 rims from this side to that junction. Then apart from that, the 33 pipes that we have from that junction to the canal, we maintain it. 
My first experience, I've never experienced such before. By 4 a.m. the rain started, very early in the morning. I was deep asleep. Then all of a sudden I just saw that uh, I was enjoying the sleep. I didn't know that water was flowing, carrying me up. So water was about swallowing me fast, it was terrible. The whole, up till now, we are still drying all our clothes, all our clothes, everything. What I feel that we can do to control it, number one, is to uh, clean up, to be cleaning up the canal so that whenever the rain is uh, raining, once the canal is moving, the gutter also will be moving. And secondly, it's for us to make sure that people do not uh, empty their bill into the gutter. Because once they empty their uh, dust bill inside the gutter, the gutter will block. And meanwhile, once the gutter is blocked, the water can no longer flow to the canal. But for quick effort to organize themselves to save their homes and properties, a good drainage system is all that this community needs to checkmate the menis. They are soliciting support from government, private individuals, philanthropists, corporate organizations and other well-meaning Nigerians to put an end to the persistent flooding in their areas. We continue to do our best ourselves by community development uh, effort, but we will appreciate if the states can come to our rescue. Lagos State and some other corporate bodies. Please, government body is, is doing as much, is doing a lot, but we want his attention here in Shomoluchu. NGO or the corporate organization, if they can assist, we really appreciate. And uh, if I can tell you, once my community people hear anything drainage, you will see the smile on their face because these are the major challenges that we are having.